Hello, my name's Samantha and welcome to this video. Today I wanted to talk about newborn products that I did not expect to just love. When I was pregnant, I would search YouTube for lots of videos of people talking about their favorite newborn products and the essentials that you need. Since there's tons of videos out there about the essentials you need, this video is not really focusing exactly on that. I'm really mainly talking about things that aren't really essentials, but like things that I'm so glad we had. I'm not gonna be talking about like the best crib or stroller or car seat or anything like that because those were all things that I knew that I would need. Sorry, the guys are picking up our trash right now. <laughs> These are all just other random things that I either figured out that we needed and bought or we had and I just didn't expect to depend on them so much. Okay, so the first thing on my list is this stroller insert. I didn't even know this existed. What happened was we were going on a trip when my daughter was about to turn three months old and we were gonna be going around Disney World and stuff. And the stroller that we had was part of a travel system. So you could put the car seat in it and you could carry the baby in the stroller like that or you could just put her in like the regular seat and it wasn't one of those super fancy ones that has like the bassinet insert and like all of that so my baby's head was still kind of floppy at that point and so she couldn't really sit in just the main seat section because her head would just flop around but we were going to be going to disney world and i wanted to be able to fold up the stroller so i didn't want to like take the car seat with us everywhere we went all around the park because that was really the only place she could sit in the stroller. So I found the stroller insert and you just put it behind their head and it keeps their head in place. And I think other people use this in baby swings also. So if you have a baby swing that their head kind of flops around in, you can put it in their swing too. And oh my gosh, it just, it was so cheap. It was so easy. All we had to do was buy that little insert and then we didn't even have to bring the car seat with us. We just had to have the stroller and push her around in the stroller. Okay, so if you've been following my channel for a while, you already know about this, but the second thing on my list is the Love Every toys. Now, Love Every was nice enough to send me the first play kit that I got, so I didn't actually like seek this out and buy it myself. That's why I'm putting it on this list, because I had heard of it and I was just like, eh, I don't really know if it's gonna be worth it. But it ended up being really worth it. So Love Every is a subscription service and they send you a box every two months or so based on your child's age. And in that box is going to be toys that are developmentally appropriate for their age at that time. They also send you a little booklet that tells you how to play with your kids and use the toys in the box to play with them in a way to help them grow and learn new skills. The first box was zero to 12 weeks and it was awesome because you don't really see toys for babies that are for babies that young. And I had no idea how to stimulate my baby when she was that young, especially. But these toys that were in this play kit really did help her and you could see her focusing on it and you could tell that she was just learning so much from these things. And now I just continue to use them as she gets older. We've been in the three to four month box now and she loves those toys. It's really fun because when you start off with the box, you get the toys and they like don't really know how to use it, but then you can see them start to learn more and more about the toys as you go on. And you can just go buy other toys that you want that are similar at the store, but this is just so convenient. It all comes in one box and especially the cards that tell you how to play with your baby and all the information about what they're learning at this stage in their life. That just makes it so worth it. If you're interested in getting the Love Every Play Kits or any of the other products that I mentioned in this video, check the description. I'm gonna put links to all of the products. Okay, so the third thing on my list is the Cloud Island onesies. These are just like the Target brand. You can get them for so cheap. You can get like a three pack for $12 or something when they're on sale. It's, it's really nice. We have at least five of these in every size right now, um, but this is like one of them and they zip from the bottom, so the zipper's down here, and you unzip it like this up to the top, um, which makes it really easy for diaper changes, and um, the other thing that I really like about these is they have the hand covers on them, which, especially in the beginning, I always needed to use these when she was asleep because she would scratch her face so bad in her sleep. Also, we live in Alaska, so it gets cold, so being able to put this over her hands, even when she was older and not scratching herself as much, was really great because the mittens just fall right off of her hands. Like, she doesn't keep mittens on her hands at all. That was really nice, and some of the other brands of onesies, like, they don't have those covers or they don't have a zipper that zips from the bottom, but these were great because they're very cheap, and yeah, they have the covers and the zip from the bottom, and those are like the two main things that I just love. 
In the first few weeks of her life, she basically just lived in those onesies. We never took her out of them. It was just so easy because we had so many diaper changes and she always needed her hands covered and it was great. Okay, the fourth thing is another thing that I bought when we started traveling, but now I just use it all the time at the house, is the pacifier clips because my baby liked a pacifier. She started using a pacifier in the hospital. She just always wanted to be sucking on something. So these clips are great because you just attach it to the pacifier and then you can clip it to their clothes. And there's lots of different brands of these, but I really do recommend this brand actually because these ones stay on really well. They've never actually fallen off. And I have heard that some of them can be weighted in a way that they actually pull the pacifier out of the kid's mouth, but these have not done that at all. So these are just super helpful. So I'm not constantly going around just trying to pick pacifiers up off the floor after they drop out of her mouth. This fifth one is this little otter. I think it's called the Snuggle and Soothe Otter. This was actually recommended when I started my Amazon baby registry. So I did put this on the registry just because I was like, oh, that's cute. But I didn't realize like how much I would actually use this thing. <laughs> so this plays different sounds. It plays music, it has like a heartbeat sound, and it has white noise, which is really awesome. So when she was really, really little, I actually played this on the heartbeat sound and she loved it. She would just fall asleep to the heartbeat and she would wake up eventually because she would realize I wasn't holding her. But if I needed like a few minutes, I could put this next to her. Now we use the music setting sometimes, but we mostly use the white noise setting. And that was awesome because when we were traveling, all we had to do was pack this and it was nice and small. And the white noise machine that we have in our house is actually an air purifier. So it would not fit in a suitcase really. So this was really awesome when we were traveling or like going somewhere. We just always had this little otter that I'll actually, it's on the white noise right now. It just plays white noise and you can turn the volume like up and down. Next one, please do not click off this video because I'm going to explain myself, but the next one is the Boppy breastfeeding pillow. Now, everyone just kept saying, this is an essential. You need this breastfeeding pillow. It's great. I just kept being like, why? Why do I need that? I don't understand why I can't just put regular pillows. Why do I need a special breastfeeding pillow? You don't need it for breastfeeding, that's the answer. So if you're like me and you're like, why the heck would I need this for breastfeeding? Let me tell you why you will need it. You need it for sitting on after you're done at the hospital. There's a little hole in the middle, you sit on the outside, and then you just have that hole in the middle so you don't have any pressure on that area down there. And oh my gosh, that just saved my entire life. I wish I had it in the hospital. I didn't bring it to the hospital because everyone was like, you need the breastfeeding pillow. But I was like, why? They have pillows at the hospital. I can just use them. No, I don't know if people actually think that they need it for breastfeeding or if they're just not telling me that the reason I need it is to sit on it. But the reason that I needed it and I love it was to sit on it. And then the other thing is, um, we would use it for tummy time. So when she was really little, she did not like to just do tummy time straight on the floor as much. She really liked it on my chest or she would do it on the boppy pillow. So we'd put like her arms up on the boppy pillow and that's how she would do her tummy time in those first month of her life or so. So number seven was actually a gift. I did not put this on my registry. I didn't even know I needed this. It's this little fox that we put on the car seat. So when my baby was younger, she hated the car. She would scream and scream because she couldn't see me. If I was driving, it was really bad because I couldn't go sit in the back seat and comfort her. If my husband was driving, I could sit in the back seat, but still I kind of wanted to sit in the front seat next to him. But whatever, to stop the crying, I did that. Once we got this fox and we put it on the car seat, it was like magic. She loved that thing. I don't know why. I don't really know. It has this friendly face or something. I don't know, we call it Mr. Fox. And if I like hold it and make it talk to her, she just smiles and laughs at it. And she doesn't laugh at anything that's not a person. So it's so weird, but she just loves this thing. And it made the car so much better. Now that she has that car seat Fox on her car seat, every time she gets into it, she doesn't scream as soon as we put her in the car seat because she looks at her Fox. She's like, oh, there's a Fox there. Now I'm not saying that this solved all of our car problems because every once in a while, you know, we'll still be in the car and she still wants to get out. But it was like every single time, the entire time we were in the car. And now it's not like that at all. 
Number eight is another thing to go along with that is a car mirror. So I kept seeing this and I kept being like, I don't need that. I don't need one of those car mirror things. Like, it's fine. I don't need to see my baby at all times. It's not for seeing the baby, though that is helpful. When I'm trying to put the pacifier in her mouth, if I can look in the mirror, I can see where I'm putting the pacifier and I'm not just like fumbling around her face trying to figure out where her mouth is. Um, so that's nice, but really what it's for is for her to look into the mirror at herself because she loves looking at herself in the mirror. So it was another thing that just made our car rides a lot smoother. Number nine is these little bunny shoes that I got from my mom as a gift. I did not put any kind of booty on my registry or anything because I just know that babies always kick those off. They never, whenever you see a baby out in public, they always have just one sock on or one shoe on because they always kick them off. But these little bunny shoes that I got from Bunnies by the Bay, they are awesome and they never fell off her feet every time we put them on her. And they have like two buttons so you can make it tighter or looser depending on how big your baby is. She still wears them, she can still fit into those. So we've gotten a lot of use out of those. And number 10 is something that I did put on the registry, but I didn't expect to use. It was kind of just like a just in case thing. And that is the Moby wrap. So I didn't think I was gonna use it because I thought it would be really complicated and I wouldn't know how to wrap it, but it really did end up being really nice. I put her in that whenever we would like go out on a long walk outside, we would go on a hike, if we were going to be walking around town, I'd put her in that. And then even sometimes just in the house I would put her in that if I needed to get some things done. She loved being in that when I vacuumed. The vacuum noise would just put her to sleep and just being in that nice close wrap was awesome for her. I don't use it as much anymore because she's bigger and I really do think that that just works super well when they're smaller but I would definitely recommend that. And I know that's another thing that people say is an essential, but it was something that I just didn't expect to like and I did. All right, so that's all. Those are my 10 products that I did not expect to need for my newborn. And if you guys have any other products that you really love, leave them in the comments so that people watching this video, if they're pregnant and trying to figure out what to put on the registry, can have some suggestions from other people. Yeah. And also, if you want to subscribe, you should do that too. That's all, bye.